You can tell him I said it. Leave your bitch alone. Hey, when Shannon Sharp wake up in the morning and be a nigga next to the bed playing the saxophone every morning. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It be a nigga in there cooking you, with his gorilla leaves in this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he be like, you know how come Shay, how <laughs> Uncle Shay say, be like, hey, what y'all want some eggs? Yeah. <laughs> Just let me ask y'all something. Y'all think he getting backlash from that Kevin Hart, I'm not that Cat Williams interview? No, nah, I think Shannon is so talented, man. I, I love what he do. I'm, I'm gonna let you know my point of view. I always roast him. Just like when you come to the league, nigga, it's a rites of passage. Yeah. Any nigga cracking joke on the show is that's a part of my craft. So but nah, it's a new joke. He been going to the game with this dude. Oh, oh, oh he yeah, got away yeah. with that for the whole yeah. two years. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And now all of a sudden they making it a big deal. He Wait. stopped going to the game with that nigga, but it, I'm the type of nigga, I'll follow you home, yeah. dog. I ain't got shit to do. <laughs> I, I, I'll i follow you up the stairway to see that nigga <laughs> open the door like, where you been? Oh, man. I'm that type of dude, man. I ain't got shit to do. I don't work a regular job. I do the work of God. I'm here to help people understand what's happening. You know what I'm saying? We are going to joke about all kinds of stuff. What happened when Shannon had Cat Williams on the show, Cat Williams turned it up by shitting on niggas nobody ever heard people shitting on them niggas like. So it made it like, what did he say? It was a what did he say moment. Yeah. And that shit turned into a lot of money for Shannon. Yeah. It turned into a lot of money for Cat. I'm just keeping it real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now other people are trying to emulate that because everybody want one of them checks like Shannon got off YouTube. Man. The man say the check exceeded what he made for us in a failed team in a year. You're getting like yeah. four, five grand a million. That video. What did you say? Four, five grand a million? Uh, uh, every million views somewhere like four or five <laughs> grand on YouTube, man. Oh, I don't know what he, I don't know what, I don't know the how video. much money you got, Shannon. I'm yeah. glad you got money. Them motherfucking, boy, them people who sell them purchase was like, yeah, this nigga got fat, <laughs> nigga. We got, got another one besides the orange one. He had another person? No, I'm saying like the people who sell that purse he had. You know, he bought oh, the orange okay, one, yeah. so they, they got a lime green one. He about to be like, about to go buy this purse, get out the car. That type of shit. I don't, I don't know. I don't he mean too no. too big for that shit, man. <laughs> yeah. You talking about for that purse? For, uh, for all that, what are you doing? The clothes too tight. You do you think, do you think, like, we only speculating up here. I would go to bat for all of the men that's on this panel now as not being back Doria, but... Do you think once you get hit in the ass right by a nigga, you can't help but switch? Is that what be happening to some of these niggas? Because some of these niggas can't hide it no more. They do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had that button pushed in permanently in yeah, the back of something. Yeah. That's a broken spirit walk. That's, <laughs> that's what happened when you... Man. <laughs> <laughs> a blue back from, walk. He made once minutes. you get blue back right... Yeah, y'all think yeah. it's a game. Them, them guys, yeah. man, they they get messed up for real. I'm telling you, once they get to a certain level, and they take it away from them. Once you saw color TV, you ain't going back to watching man. that little. Is that what happens? That's, that's what they. That do. is a great analogy. Yeah, they you got hit they give right. Them color TV. He told me, yeah, hit right. No, that's what I'm saying. Ain't nothing right day, about it, man. One day that bitch I was <laughs> fucking with, all of a sudden started talking shit to me, and ain't want nothing else. It, nothing else to do with me. I was like, some nigga didn't hit this bitch right. <laughs> God dang. That's why we don't want nobody else fucking our girls. Because a nigga might do something to the bitch that you can't do. The worst is when she started talking like the new nigga, using his slang. and Like, bitch, we don't talk like that, bitch. <laughs> Who taught you how to play like Madden, bitch? You want me to... <laughs> That's what happened with my baby mama. Yeah. My baby mama in Chicago that was Otasha K. Oh, she started fucking this other nigga that was a gangbanger. That bitch started talking gangbanger oh, shit to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Fuck she you, Corey. Will get out your ass, <laughs> solid fool. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking about oh shit. This nigga hit my bitch right. He got yeah. the bitch talking crazy to me. Yeah, that's real shit. That's what happens sometimes, man. It's just don't nobody want to say it, man. If your girl getting hit right. Or if your husband getting hit right by a nigga, 
He ain't gonna give a fuck about the kids no more. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs>